This is part 104 of Owyhee Downstream. I do a, a description in here about the South Dakota Passport, the State Park Passport Program. So I highly encourage if you're going to be visiting the state parks to check out this program. It's really neat. I just got a package in the mail from the state park. I will do an unboxing video of, of what the prizes are that you can receive after, after hiking. So enjoy Owyhee Downstream. I stopped at the information center and there's this this um, book called the Park Times. It's got a lot of great information in it. And then on the last page, it has this thing called a passport. So if you go and to all the state parks, you can get a stamp and then you get prizes, but it doesn't say what they are. And with this little uh, hiking adventure, I'm certainly gonna visit a lot, so I believe I'll stop at the information uh, ranger station and see if I can pick one of those up, and, and then uh, I'll do a review how, how those all go. But uh, this morning, these are my maps. Now, the reason I colored these maps is because it's so easy to get lost if you don't already know the area. Okay, I'm camping there in campground one, kind of on the bottom left side. So what I'm going to do is hike from my campground. I'm gonna hit this little connecting trail here, get on the road, and then eventually end up on the uh, Cottonwood Path. So I'll take this map, map with me. Um, because I'm using a GoPro, I don't know how well it's going to show up while I'm hiking, so that's the plan. Um, I still haven't downloaded the mileage tracker just because uh, last night it rained and I couldn't charge anything, so let's go. I think it's somewhere between uh, 7 and 8 a.m. It, uh, it rained all night and all morning. I was up at 3 this morning, which is not atypical of me, but it was still really rainy, so I just had a little nap, took a little more time. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, this is the road I'm looking at. This thing right here. I'm right here and supposedly a little to the right is the start of the trail to lead me to the road. Uh huh. My experience has been that the trails aren't really well marked in all the state parks. So that's why I made these maps and kind of did a little prep work before I go. So I don't get too lost because I like to get lost. <laughs> all right, so just hanging off to the right a little bit. Sunshine. Let's see, one, two, okay, there's one site, there's two sites, so supposedly beyond this camper is the trailhead. Sorry about the sunshine, oh wow. Aha, oh, paved. No vehicles, that's gotta be it. Uh, 
a paved trail. Okay. It just says no vehicles, so. Okay. Not a huge fan of walking on pavement. Might be nice, like bicycles. Bikes might be nice out here. Yeah, and I, the reason I'm doing these videos is because someday when I am no longer able to, or if I live to be old enough where I cannot, I think it would be so nice to hear, hear all the sounds and see the trails and just remember the summer. It's a strange time with uh, worldwide social distancing, nobody can travel, but thankfully the parks in our state are open, which inspired this entire journey because everybody's supposed to you know do their best to maintain social distancing so i thought what a better way to do that than uh create some distance between myself and people it's quite vast where am i okay hopefully the sun isn't wrecking the view I think in the dead of winter, watching these videos, I wouldn't mind a little sun wrecking my view. <laughs> hmm. Beautiful. Okay, now it's, uh, yeah. I think we just take this road right here that'll lead us to the actual start of the Cottonwood Trail, Cottonwood Path. So I'm in the Pier, South Dakota area, mid-state, about mid-state. Um, all of this is the river, and there's quite an impressive dam system here. Rolling hills, beautiful. I think what I'll do today when I'm driving to the next hiking trail, I'll uh, try to do a dash mount and show you some of the, it's just uh, prairie grass and very few trees. It's, it's kind of remarkable.
swings. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep, gonna do that. I love to swing. I'm so tired. <laughs> All right. It's worth the wet behind. That's it for part one. Part two will find the Cottonwood Trail.